Greetings, friends. Uh, just before we get into the shave, I would like to um, say a big congratulations to Nate and Mel at BBS.Live. Congratulations, gentlemen, on hitting your 1,000 followers on IG. Listen, gang, if you are not on IG and not watching BBS Live every second Thursday, which will be this Thursday, so tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Central, not 9 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. If you're not watching, you got to go get an Instagram account and you got to check these guys out. It's three hours of bourbon, shaving, just having a great time and tons of giveaways. And you are not going to want to miss tomorrow's night. Uh, tomorrow night's bbs.live and the giveaways that are going to be on that program. So once again, congratulations, gentlemen. Um, and I wish you a thousand more. Enjoy the shave, guys. Greetings, friends, and welcome to the channel, and welcome to my den with me, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, for the midweek video. So, have an interesting one for you today, uh, taking a small break from uh, Canada Week, and um, going with uh, a sample of a soap um, that I got from my buddy Rob Soder, one of the fans of the channel, and he sent me an interesting lather bowl, too, so we're going to do a bowl lather on camera. Um, something I don't usually do if I if I do a ball lather for a straight shave Usually um, I have shaving pixies take care of that off camera and uh, just like that That finger going just like that I have lather for you guys to enjoy. So anyway, so moon soaps. There is the dime bag Nice scent on this and it's got a lot going on. So I'm going to put on my uh, my readers and we're going to have a little story because there is quite the write-up on this. And the write-up will also be down in the uh, description box below. I guess maybe I could just not do the do the write-up part and just give you the scent notes. Um, anyway, it goes like this. Uh, like a serene walk through the clifftop citrus grove overlooking the... Uh, I'm going to butcher the hell out of this. The Thai... Ty, Tyron, I don't know. This was a bad, bad idea. Um, the yeah, okay. You guys can figure that out in the box down below. Um, the C4 uh, far below Sorrento radiates a fresh and energetic blend of the aromatic citrus found on the. Amalfi Coast of Southern Italy. This is a slight and youthful fragrance, perfect for warmer spring and summer weather. This is winter, whatever. Scents or scents. And the scent notes, the top scents are Sicilian Mapo, Calabrian, I can't pronounce half the shit on this, uh, Bergamot, Italian Pompolemo, yeah, Pompolemo, Amalfi, lemon, black pepper, jasmine, pineapple, watery aquatic notes, base is vetiver, tonka bean, amber. Yeah, so uh, this is a uh, tallow soap by the looks of it. And uh, as you heard, it's it's got a lot going on. So I have that uh, smushed here into this leather frisbee that Rob sent me. As you can see, this is vigorously ribbed for lather pleasure and i think this lather is about to get tickled pink if you know what i'm saying and uh yeah this is a collapsible bowl so you just give it a push and now it's a lather bowl so we're gonna give that a shot i got a pretty healthy uh pretty healthy sample smushed down in the bottom the brush we're gonna use today is my badger and blade silver sparkle brush with a um, Omega Knot, Omega Bore Knot. I haven't used this brush on camera in a long time, and I thought, why not? So we're just gonna get in here, and we're just gonna start making a lather. We're gonna tickle it, if you will, with all these nubs. And see how many hairs I lose in the process, but you know what? It doesn't feel like it's too hurt on the knot. And it's already starting to starting to do some things, so we'll uh, we'll just dip the tips, 
and by dipping the tips, um, for me, that is uh, dunking pretty much half of the knot with uh, no depth perception, but you know, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the scent's starting to come alive there now. I dig it, it smells good. Smells good, definitely a citrus vibe to this. I'm getting a little bit of woody vibe too. Maybe a bit of that amber. There's just there's just so much going on in, in this scent. Sometimes it's hard to pick out individual notes. And, and that's okay. It's okay if you can't pick up individual notes. I think as long as the overall concerto of, of scent is a pleasurable experience to your nose and to you, then really being able to pinpoint each individual scent in the blend, I think, is kind of a, it's kind of a fool's errand. But if it all smells good as it comes together, then really I think at the end of the day, that's, that's your jam. So it is making a nice lather. A little hard on the wrist. I'm trying to work around all those nubs, but I am trying to splay the brush. So maybe I'll just, I'll just ease back a little bit. They're definitely working though. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting some nice peaks there now. Okay, well, I'll be damned, Rob. I was kind of doubtful, but now that being said, these are pretty um, pronounced protuberances. So I don't think I would, um, I don't think I would subject my uh, expensive three band uh, silver tip luxury Manchurian knot to this uh, lather bowl but then again I don't subject that knot to any lather bowl that is a uh, that's a face lather only but I mean that being said though you can't really fault the ball for nothing it's doing its trick uh, that's that's a pretty damn fine lather I mean that's like a that's like a fucking whipped cream looking lather right there. Cool whip. Cool whip. Just like a Dairy Queen blizzard would fall out. Nope. All right, we are going to uh, roll with that. So. I'm going to scuttle over there. And yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's put this on the face. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's enjoying the content here. Uh, I know I'm doing three videos a week now. Views seem to be doing good, so it doesn't look like uh, you guys are sick of me yet. So that's good. Give a nice little scrub scrub. This is a weird knot though, it really is the way it's set. It is not really an ideal face lathering machine, that is for sure. You really gotta drive it in there to, uh... You really gotta drive it in there to try and get it to splay. If anything, if I was gonna do anything with this brush, I would probably get it re-knotted with a nice, I don't know, synthetic or a badger. You know, a smaller badger, smaller synthetic knot, maybe? Because other than that, I like the handle. And, uh, yeah, so the scent strength on this, as I have it lathered on the face, it's coming in just about a five right now, just middle of the road. It's not, uh, it's not super strong. It's not super mild. Razor for today is going to be my, uh, Gillette Canadian Tech. I have no idea if that's upside down or right side up, so you're going to get it both ways. It still has some of the original etching on the, uh, top cap. This one made 1954 have a Voskhod with um, an unknown amount of uses on it. That being said, those uses were just my uh, cleanup passes after uh, tickling my face with a straight razor, so. Really, this blade probably would only have maybe three shaves on it, I think. So, yeah. Well, the first pass was nice and easy. 
just the way I like it. The soap is nice and slick. Uh, it's a tallow soap. Do a little bit of a rinse here, see what the residual is like. Yeah, there's a nice residual slickness there. I can roll with that. My face feels nice. There's no irritation from, um, from any of the, the oils that are in this soap. Skin feels nice and hydrated. What more do you want in a soap, really? Um, yeah, can't go wrong with that at all. So we will apply the second coat of shaving surfactant hope everybody's having a wonderful day i probably said that already but uh, whatever i'm all out of sorts today <laughs> not really just busy just busy I'm trying to write some songs i only got one song left that's uh, pre-recorded and uh wouldn't you know it i'm in a bit of a uh i'm in a bit of a writing funk so i don't know what i'm gonna do just been working on some stuff and just nothing's coming together at the moment. But I am totally geeking out in the shave verse, so that's good. Enjoying some daily shaves. Typically I can't shave every day, but that might be my razor choice too. I find if I use a straight razor, it's a lot easier on my skin, and I was talking about this with uh, Johan on his video yesterday, and he brought it up. Or Ewan, I should say, not Johan. Ewan. And um, I think removing most of the growth with the straight and just doing the cleanup with the DE really saves my skin. And then I can intersperse that with a DE shave, DE shave the next day and still get an irritation-free shave. And then it also comes down to uh, to razor choice as well, I do believe. like So my curves, I um, really, really like the curves. I can't shave every day with a C plate. But I think if I bounced back and forth between a C and a B, and just give the, you know, oh, we had a bloop. It was a big old bloop. Uh, if, if I get my skin, uh, you know, chance, you know, a day off from the more aggressive C plate, which really isn't, or I shouldn't say aggressive, but more efficient C plate and do a B plate shave. I could probably go back to a, a C plate the next day after that. But, you know, and I could easily shave with a B plate every day uh, without getting into too much trouble, but I couldn't do a C plate every day. I, I have a weird mixture of really sensitive skin on my neck and tough beard hair. And my beard hair grows in a stupid ass pattern so so that's unfortunate but anyway it is what it is so I come up with the, the dual 45 pass that still allows me to do a three pass shave and get BBS without going fully against the grain which is really where I get the irritation like yeah that's nice and smooth right through there right now pretty much it doesn't feel irritated soap is definitely doing its job so as a first impression I'm very very happy I'm definitely liking the scent it's uh it's complex but it's comforting it's definitely not offensive And this little tech is uh, shaving great. Incredibly underrated razors as far as I'm concerned. With all the great razors that we have on the market today. And all the high end stuff. Which is great, don't get me wrong. This simple little Gillette tech. Nice, mild, uh, unoffensive razor. Does a fantastic job. In my opinion. At least for my skin. He'll go with cold water rinse. 
I'm always a warm lather, cold water rinse kind of a guy, even in the winter. The cold water feels nice after a shave. I liken it to getting a tattoo. If any of you watching have gotten ink, you know what it's like. At the end of the tattoo, they uh, give you a cold water rinse and then they put the disinfectant on, but that cold water rinse uh, with uh, you know sterile water or still water after a ink session feels like the most incredible thing ever because your skin feels like it's on fire and then they hit it with that cool water and oh whoa, 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 so nice all right that was a very very nice shave i could tell you right now that will uh oh yeah that's basically bbs right there and that will uh once the hair follicles um uh, get the memo that they've been shaved um that will definitely turn into a nice bbs so, uh, doing my sniff test for a splash, I came across Hega, I think, is the one to use. This one seems to go really well with citrus and woody scents because, well, wouldn't you know it, Hega is a citrus and woody scent. And uh, I'm just getting a lot of the same vibe off the soap. This is a great, great splash, actually. It goes on thick. I like that. Definitely some, definitely some good stuff in here, I think. Very, very underrated as well. I tell you, you, use some of these underrated products and kind of give them a second chance again. And then you end up with just a corker of a shave. And not saying that you have to use them and not use all the expensive stuff, because I, ex I got a lot of the expensive stuff too, and I love me the expensive, high-end Gucci stuff too. But I like having options. Very nice. That was a that was a damn good shave, actually. So uh, thank you very much, Rob, for the uh, the lather bowl and uh, the soap samples. He sent me a bunch of samples there, and uh, lots of lather left in the brush. We could scoop out some more lather out of this uh, this lather bowl. So that's that. That's the shave for today, guys. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Look forward to your comments and, and interactions down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel or just seen this in one of the groups and you haven't um, subscribed yet and you're liking the content, please consider uh, making an account and uh, subscribing. It, that helps me. And, um, and that would be great. So uh, until next time, be safe, be kind to one another, and most importantly, have a great day and even better shave. And we will catch you in the next one. Peace. And I love yous.